Hi there, this is Miranda Manier, multimedia reporter with the Columbia Chronicle. I'm out here trying to figure out just how much the people of Chicago know about Chicago history. Hi, do you want to know how Chicago history affected the institution of Labor Day? That's okay. Hi, do you want to know how Chicago history affected the institution of Labor Day? That's all right. Hi, do you want to know how Chicago history affected the institution of Labor Day? No? That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. They don't care about Chicago history. Hi, do you want to know how Chicago history affected the institution of Labor Day? So... The Pullman strike begins on May 11th, 1894. Um, it begins in response to uh, wage cuts by the Pullman Palace Car Company. So many of the workers for the company were living in a model town uh, called Pullman in the southern uh, neighborhoods of Chicago. Everything in Pullman was owned by the Pullman Palace Car Company. So when the company cut wages, they didn't cut any of the prices in town or rents for the workers. So the workers went on strike. The strike lasted about two months, and initially it was just the Pullman workers, but soon they were joined by the American Railway Union, uh, led by Eugene Debs, and that took the strike nationwide. It shut down most of the railroads this side of Detroit, so it covered most of the Midwest. It disrupted all kinds of business, and it also disrupted the U.S. mail. Um, what happened then was Grover Cleveland ordered federal troops in in, J in July of 1894. Yes, there, were, there were violent encounters between um, the strikers and the U.S. Army throughout the country. Um, in Chicago, 30 strikers were killed on July 5th. Midway through the strike, uh, President Cleveland and Congress declared Labor Day a national holiday, uh, hopefully to, to appease the, the American unions. Um, Labor Day had been celebrated in a number of states prior to this, so this wasn't the first celebration of Labor Day. But it was the time it was made a federal holiday, and it was as a result of the per Pullman strike. There had been a number of strikes before that, there had been a number of strikes after that. But this one, because of the use of federal troops, because of the injunction, the first time that was used, um, really was a turning point in the American labor movement. And that's how it happened. Cool. Now you know. Have a nice day.